Why should you be bothered with church history? There's a very good reason for that, because not many people realise that church history lies at the heart of Western civilization. The history of Europe and the United States, or wherever you live, whether it's uh, in those countries or in Australia or South Africa, the history of your country cannot be understood properly without church history. To know who you are, you have to understand where you come from. About a century ago, almost everyone in Europe and the United States, everyone in the West, belonged to a church, whether the Roman Catholic Church or the Protestant Western Church. But church, it was. Church has shaped us. These days we live in a world where the church is either ignored or frowned upon as a source of disillusionment. The widespread abuse scandals that have knocked about the Roman Catholic Church in the last few years are indicative of this situation. The church doesn't appear to live up to its own teachings and seems to change these teachings as the wind blows. Is there any truth and certainty left? This book of mine, Hope and Disillusionment, will explain what happened and what is happening at the moment and make you understand. It is designed in such a way that it is suitable for almost every age group from teenagers on and people of very different professions and schooling. I wrote this book for two reasons. People asked me to help them understand the church and the world they live in. That is what this book does. But in doing so I also noticed a lot of confusion and disillusionment, particularly among Christians. Even ministers, priests and bishops are sometimes tired of the church, sick of the hypocrisy, abuse, commercialism, manipulation, politics and preconceived theories that seem to be more important than God. This book helps you understand what is happening and also to regain some hope again. I hope you're going to enjoy it.